YouTube, this is BCSMB, and today I'll be teaching you how to do the glowing animal effect. You have, may have seen these before, and they're actually not that hard to make. So, one of them's this one. It was a close-up of a cat eye. I honestly think it turned out pretty well. The before and after picture, I mean... I didn't think it would work this well, but... It did. I also did a lion one, which is there. So as you can tell, this effect looks pretty nice, actually. It gives it that cool little effect. And plus, it's honestly just not hard. So first off, you're going to need a program. Well, first off, actually, you're going to need Photoshop. And you're also going to need uh, Fractalus. Uh, I'll put the download link in the description. FYI, this is not my download. I can give a link to the person who actually made it, so you can go give them credit. And when you download it, it should come in a folder like this. And then you just click the whatever version you have, 64-bit or 32-bit. And you hit whatever you got. And then it should do it automatically. But if it doesn't, you browse for your Photoshop folder. So in my case, it would be in C Drive, Photoshop, or Program Files, Adobe, Photoshop, and Plugins. And you should make a folder called Redfield. If it doesn't already, then you hit Install. So that's step one. Step two is to actually just open up Photoshop. It, I don't think it really matters what version you have, but I have the latest CC version. Ah, that's being weird. Photoshop does this sometimes. There we go. So you're gonna want to get a picture in mind. So in my case, I'll just look up. Here's another example. It should look something like this once it's done. Um, let's see. The key is to try to find one that's, that's kind of like this. I think I'll actually do this one. This one looks pretty nice. So. Once you download that, you can just honestly just drag and drop like that. So here's the before picture. So I would make another layer and also duplicate the background layer, which you'll see why in a minute. So you're gonna hit filter on the background layer like this. You're gonna hit filter, red field, fractalus. Then right away it already looks really cool. And you can just mess around with it. There's all presets that you can add, so that one looks pretty nice. You got your glow 100, which it makes it really nice. So I think I'm gonna just scale it down a little bit. So it's kind of just trial and error, you kind of have to keep doing that. Like that looks perfect to me. I think that looks really nice. So I'm just going to do that. So in a sec, it should pull up a render thing. So just let it do its thing. It should take a sec. Unless my Photoshop just froze. Oh. 
Oh, never mind. I had the background layer, I forgot. So I'd uncheck it too, for right now. So what you can do with it, so above it, you can erase like this, so around the eyes. This is what a lot of people do, but I don't know if I'd like it on certain pictures. It looks nice on ones if you can't see the eye at all. size down a little bit. So like this. So like that pretty much. It can look nice but on certain ones like if you go back to the line one I did before, if you look at it it's the eyes. I actually did the same process. But in certain pictures on the fracture, it'll make it look pretty nice. Like, already it looks kind of nice, but if you want that eye popping effect, I guess. I think it looks nice, but it can you can make it look even nicer in a sec after this to do the whole eye thing first, which is kind of annoying. I also recommend zooming in a little bit, just so you can get the detail a little bit better. Oh yeah, to undo quicker, it's Control z but I don't know how to do this in this program, but in After Effects you can do that, but then you can change it so it doesn't undo until like the 30th time. But to prevent this, hit Control alt z if you need to go back even further. So, see? And then... It's just a quicker way to get around it. Like if you messed up the eye like I keep doing. I think that looks nice. Um, I think I'll do a little more. So, what I was talking about earlier is with this image, you can also add colors, like, I honestly think it looks nice. Oop, I actually forgot to do this eye. Nice. Um, so let me fix up this eye quick. I forgot that there was more to it. other eye. 
die and fix it now. Because I forgot I kept on doing things. That looks pretty nice, you have to admit. So here's our before. Oops. Ah, I forgot to do that. Uh, the before picture. And the after picture. I mean, that looks nice to me. I actually really love this effect. But, um, oh yeah, so what you can do with it now is with this layer, That's this is why we created the layer in first step. You can do this fill, so I'm going to try blue with this one, like uh, like that. Oop. Oh, so there. So now what you can do is have this layer selected and go where it says normal here. Go to hue, and you can change the color of it, which looks really nice. If you want the eyes to stay the same color, you can do that, which can also look really cool. Which I actually think I like it like this, so I'm going to keep it. So you kind of can just mess around with colors, so... Until you, you find a color you like. I'm kind of digging this blue. Right here, or maybe a little dark. Um, I'm not sure what blue I want, honestly want to go with. I think the darker one looks nice with it in this case. So yeah, this is the full step to finish. And what also you can do is you can color the eyes to a different color so you can you know, fill them in or whatnot. It's not perfect though when you try to fill it. So what you can do now is you can make another layer and do a fill in the color, so I, I'm thinking that uh, orange will look nice with this. So you fill with orange, and then you do the same thing. Ooh, wait. Oh no, I think you create clip masking. That one, so it made that orange color if you didn't see, so if I change it to red now, you can see now it's red. Looks pretty nice. Ooh, I'm actually liking this. Let's make that green a little darker, though. That, yeah, that looks nice. So, once you're done with this, you can just render it out. So, file, save as. I'm just gonna call it Lion, and then Lion Final. And after that, I recommend to uh, do a PNG. It's the it looks better, higher quality, and compression has none. And, okay. Now it's gonna render out. So now here was the before picture. Before and after. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys next time.